the yoke. So Jesus says, take my yoke. So his yoke, his yoke is easy. Now, if it's the yoke of religion and you're borrowing that and you're yoking up to that kind of stuff, that's hard. You're making it hard on yourself. Too many Christians, I know this is probably only in Seattle, but too, too many Christians, you know, make it hard to serve God. It's not, it's not that hard. Okay, here's an illustration. I'm, I'm, I'm out with your pastor today and, you know, we're, we're hitting a few shots trying to get on this little piece of green grass where it's smooth so you can make the putts and, and the whole thing. And, you know, we're making dumb mistakes. Some of us were making dumb mistakes. And, uh, no. But I, I remember, you know, just, just trying to get this putt in, and it was a short putt, and you, just, you know, just missed it, just did a dumb thing or came up short or whatever. And I remember just saying to myself, come on, Wendell, it's not that hard. <laughs> just hit the little ball in the little hole, you know? <laughs> it's not that hard. And, of course, I suppose if it was really easy, you know, we'd all be Tiger Woods. But when it comes to serving the Lord, it's not that hard. Now, if you're sweating it, if you're heavy laden, if you're burdened down, first of all, for God's sake, don't tell us. Don't show it on your face. You don't have to let everybody know. How's it going? Oh, well, you know. You, you kind of come in kind of slumped over, you know. Yeah, it's been tough, you know. It's the month from hell. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody till it's over. You know, when it's over and you're back into heaven, you know, yeah. Yeah. Then, you, then you talk about the, the month from hell. We all laugh. That's funny, you know, what you went through, you know. But when you're going through it, it wasn't funny. It was hell. And, you know, so, no, that's a reality, but you need to understand that God has called you to get through that stuff. L listen to scriptures like this. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Oh, I hate that scripture, you know. But it's in the Bible. Uh, why? Because the, the testing of your faith will produce something. Amen? It's going to produce patience. It's going to produce perseverance. It's going to produce maturity in you. That's what we pray for. Oh, God, I want to be mature. I want to grow. I want to be everything you want me to be. Okay, here we go. Month from hell. <laughs> no, God, I didn't want that. You know, I just wanted the instant maturity pill that you get. I, I, I want the maturity drink. <laughs> I'm mature. You know, you just, you want that and you, just, you want it, we want it now. We want the microwave mature. Right. You know, we're so impatient. We tap our foot in front of the microwave now. <laughs> right? We were zapping some turkey this afternoon for a little turkey sandwich. Don and I, we found some. We're batching it. Our wives are not here, so... Pray for us, man. We got to eat, man. I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do, you know. <laughs> but uh, Don was, was microwaving it, you know. We're kind of waiting. It's kind of like, man, you know, this is microwave, okay? This is microwave. This is, whoosh, you know, almost instant food, and and we're waiting. We gotta wait. My God, what's the world come to? And you know, we got instant everything. I mean, we and we want it now. And so when it comes to patience, you know, Lord, I want patience. Would you please give it to me right now? Yeah. Well, patience doesn't come that way. And it comes through tests and through trials and maturity comes that way. <sighs> but his yoke is easy. I, I'm comparing it to the way I used to live, maybe the way some of you used to live in sin. Come on. Yeah. Was that yoke fun? Would you like to go back to that yoke of bondage? No. Oh, no, no, no. There's nothing there for us. There's nothing worth, and, and, and now that you've been born again and you've got a new nature to go back, ooh, it stinks. It's like a pig going back to the, the steps, it's like a dog back to the vine. It's, it's horrible. Nobody wants to do that. You will be one miserable person. Yeah. See, that's hard. The way of the transgressor is hard. That's the only way it, it, things become hard. Or a lack of faith. A lack of faith which gives us uh, this, this concept that well, I, I'm not sure that Jesus has really done everything for me that I really need uh, on the cross. And so, you know, I, you know, I, I, I trust him for healing, but I need, I need some more medicine. Uh, you know, and I'm not against medicine because I'm, I'm doing that too. But, but you know, you've got to be careful where your faith is. My faith is not in my doctor. My faith is in the great physician. My faith is in Dr. Jesus. 
Oh, there's a good song about Dr. Jesus. Wish I could sing it. It's, it's uh, a country western song. One of your favorite themes. And one of... Uh, uh, we'll get you mistaken with Sanjaya. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's one of Sanjaya's favorite, you know, song <laughs> venues is country western. But, uh, oh gosh, who's the, who's the country western singer? Anyway, I, I'm, I'm just thinking of it. But, you know, Dr. Jesus. Oh, that's a great song, you know. I heard you're the best healer around. Randy Travis, thank you very much. I like Randy Travis. He's born again. Dr. Jesus is great. Well, you know, you, you put your faith there. Has Jesus healed you? Yes, he has. Has he taken away your sins? Yes, he has. Has he made you the righteousness of God in Christ? Talking about our identity. Yes, he has then I have no right uh, out of unbelief to state something about myself as a child of God which God doesn't say in his word. Yeah. Right. Honestly, maybe you've said this, and, and, and I'm glad I don't know if you have or not, but I'll just, you should never say I'm a sinner saved by grace. Absolutely. You, you're not a sinner saved by grace. You're a saint. We got that one right. Amen? We got that down. Now, I was a sinner, and I got saved by grace. That's the truth, but I'm not a sinner saved by grace. I hear people out of, out of false humility, Christians, who, and I met some recently, and they literally said, well, I'm just, you know, I'm, I was trying to commend them. Oh, I appreciate your faith. Oh, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. And I'm going, dear Lord Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Chapter and verse. Yeah. I'm talking about you now, yeah. your identity yeah. now. You're not a sinner. You're no longer a sinner. Jesus became sin for me. Right. I became the righteousness of God in Christ. Yes. So you're looking at a righteous man tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm righteous. Yeah. I'm worthy. Yeah, right. Not a lot of amens, but, you know. No, and the reason I can say that is because I'm in Christ. Right. Now, if I get out of Christ, I'm definitely unworthy, and I've got a problem, and I'm not his righteousness, and so forth. But in Christ, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I'm worthy in Christ because he alone is worthy. But I'm in him. Yes. Amen. In other words, I, I deserve, by the virtue of what Jesus did, to get into heaven. You can't get in any other way. You've got to be under the blood. You've got to have the name on your forehead. You, your name's got to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. But when it is, you're a saint. You're born again. For eternity, you will live and dwell with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we are his righteousness. and We are his sons. We're the seed of Abraham. We're kings and priests unto our God. Think of all the stuff he's done for us. So I can't walk around mopey and confessing stuff that's not biblical and acting like it's hard to serve God. It is not hard to serve God. It's easy. I didn't hear too many amens. It's easy and his burden is light. If you do it his way. Got to know the word. Got to do what it is that he tells you to do. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how to enter into rest tonight. I'm going to tell you, this, this is one of the simplest, but one of the greatest keys, honestly, to living a really happy, overcoming, victorious Christian life that I think you'll probably ever hear. It's very simple. It's found in Hebrews chapter 4, where it talks about the rest of God. Okay, and uh, for the guys on the screen, Hebrews 4.10 uh, is what we're going to look at.